What is up, Game Changers? It is I, Juniper Blue Mystique. I'm coming on today with something very important y'all should know. So this video is going to be another um, workshop that I have done just last night where God gives me a key. Very important things were done. I cracked Mount Rushmore. Um, um, the skin of Camilla and King Charles falls off and they are exposed as lizard people. I am given a key. I move the earth around on a map and so much more in this one. Now, this one's very important because God literally hands me something important. Some very important key things were spoke about. And this is, is it's a necessity to know um, if you, you know, God doesn't just have me post these things for nothing. So if you choose not to watch them, it could be a detriment for you for the Ascension. So I do hope you guys watch it all the way to the end. It's a pretty short one. I'm going to break it down into pieces for you. Again, this is part of my 21 days workshop right now. We are preparation, prepar preparing for the event. So who I am is Juniper Bloom Mystique. I am an Ascension Master, Master Healer and Divine Guide. The whole entire Ascension does come through me. It is actually the return of Christ. It's much deeper than people realize. On the um, the 10th, 1110, I did um, I changed the Earth's equilibrium, and I just showed you guys that video. That's also very important to understand who I am and what I've been doing from activating pyramids, clearing Mount Shasta, um, returning the root chakra and the triangle with the eye over the God portal into Fiji, where it all rightfully belongs. I cut off life support to California. Um, I activated pyramids all over the globe from Myanmar, Machu Picchu, Indonesia, Budapest, Thailand, um, so much more. Kilimanjaro, Congo, British Columbia, Ecuador. Um, I have active, been activating pyramids and doing this work since 2019, 2020, when I had my Kundalini awakening. Okay. I do healings on people that are not normal. I can do what people call remote, remote viewing, but it's like even 10 times more than that. Okay. So who I am is not normal. I have in fact brought about the ascension. It is the return of Christ. I cleared Jesus's soul, returned all twin flames back together from Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Um, and Sekhmet and Horus, I undid the false concept of time, the darkness of the moon, healed the sun, corrected the sun, um, realigned the poles and added five more when I took us into 7D. And you guys, those are just some of the things that I have done, not to mention I undid the Holy Grail, which was not holy at all. Jesus did not die in a cross. He was poisoned. And you can watch my videos to see all of that. Okay. But for today, I'm going to show this to you. This is a workshop I just did last night. The last video I posted was another workshop that I did for the 1111 portal. I'm doing these pretty much every day up until 21. 21 days is what this workshop thing is. And you guys, when I tell you we are prepping for the event, we are. The event is my DM and I. The light is to come through. I saw this before my original twin flame died. I kept saying I need to bring the light through. Um, so you guys don't realize is that it's bigger than we know. It's bigger than we understand. Um, people think that, you know, it's just a shift into an awakening. It's much more than that. This is redemption day. It is the return of Christ. It is the end of ways for all and the end of days for some. Okay. So you still have time to take that path to righteousness. If you choose to, you can actually walk through the gates with all the work that I've done. Um, I've walked four people through the gates through all of the work that I've done. So there's still time to do that. But um, the end is drawing nearer and nearer, okay? And so I want to tell you that. So we are just going to watch a few moments of this workshop. This was done last night. I have blurred out the people that do join me in the workshop. So that's what these are, okay? Um, you should be able to see this screen. All right, so here we go. But we are going to the bench. So take your focus to your bench. The bench has expanded. In All right, so I will be skipping to the important parts. You do not have to watch the entire thing of it, um, but there's some really good stuff in here. So I do ask you pay attention all the way to the end. Um, when I do something with King Charles and Camilla, it's all the way at the end. So please do watch. If you miss something, you're missing God. Okay, so I would say that if God shows you what he's doing, it's important to watch all details. Okay, 
I do burp when I release and connect, so please forgive that. Again, that you just feel into your bench. Things are kind of taking over. I didn't know that was coming. So just kind of focusing on your breath, palms up in receptive mode and feeling into your bench. Ah, It's like the sky above has been reborn. The earth has been reformed. Truths are rising more and more every day. One seen and one's unseen. I'm like seeing a crack begin to form. I like see myself standing in front of Mount Rushmore. And as I'm speaking, I feel like I look like God. Um, I know I'm the female version, but I literally feel like I'm wearing that robe and I'm glowing just pure white. I'm glowing pure white and I'm wearing a robe. And as I'm speaking... <laughs> It's this white light going through me and kind of cracking the earth and breaking apart Mount Rushmore. I've done something like we've been there before. It's come up before. This is a full circle moment. I just can't fully remember it. So you guys have been separated from the earth, but I'm standing on her. As you're on your bench, there will be an angel stepping forward. So what you guys don't know is that when I'm talking to the people, it's because I'm talking to the people in my workshop. These are the people who've done, I've walked almost all of them through the gates. One will be walking through soon into the new earth. It is a rite of passage. It goes with Revelations 21.13, 21.12, <clears throat> which on the 10th, the last video I posted was me completing Revelations 21.13. It's not a joke, Okay. And all these people have seen what I've been doing after I've been doing it. And I've been showing you that as well. I do the work and then people see it in the energy. So who I am is not normal. So I just want you guys to understand this. Okay. This is bigger than what you can probably fathom. So just sit with it, watch it more than once if you have to. And I do encourage you to watch uh, my Ascension playlist. Those are the most important videos on this channel. There's a lot more, but those are the actual workshops that I do where I activate pyramids and things. And you might understand more of this because I have been doing this work diligently almost every day of my life since my Kundalini awakening in 2019. So let's listen. To give you a crystal. This is an important crystal for today's transmission. So when a being, I see the crystalline grid lighting up with all of the pyramids. Who gone that? Ooh, you guys, I don't know what's happening. I'm like so lost. I also rebuilt the crystalline grid. I replaced the dark crystal in the core of the earth when I dried up the Nile. They told me I was the queen of life when I cleared the Nile. It turned blood red before I dried it up. Um, all of who I am is very biblical. And it was one step after the other after the other, which has led us to these final events. So I've already done all of the work, okay? Now, between the video of the last one I posted and this one, I drew a straight line so you can only walk the path home. If you have any karma and shadow within you, you get kicked back from the gates and you can't make it through. That's why I have the path to righteousness. It's you choosing to draw all of that out so that you can make it through the gates, see clearly, choose love, call your power back and get your DNA activation. So we don't just do this to freak people out. I have the way home. Okay. I hold all of the keys home and they say something very important about that in this video. So please watch. I have to let go of expectations. This one I'm blind. I'm completely blind. Normally I'll have a little insight. I have nothing. I, they're just, I'm, things are just shifting. I'm just going. So you guys are on your bench and you should receive a crystal. I am literally standing, look right now, looking at Mount Rushmore, holding like this light in my hands and speaking this language. And as I do that, it's cracking the ground all the way up the mountainside and the faces are just crumbling off. And I feel this representation of 
the newness of the reform of the earth and the rebirth of the sky and only truth shall rise. And then I'm also hearing the truth shall set you free. I see the crystalline grid beginning to light up and all of the pyramids are like lifting. They're like lifting all this light, all this energy. It's uh, almost like it just became like a 3D version where on a 2D plane, everything's flat, but it's not. All the pyramids, all the light are lifted up and I'm glowing white. Uh, uh. Oh. oh my gosh, the energies are like, what? <clears throat> Sorry. the skies are blue the water flows the earth is shifting more than anyone knows changes are upon us bring forth now the truth shall flow the truth shall flow so others can see only what's right becomes of me for the sky above the earth below is all brand new and God in tow. What is outside of the light shall be made right. The earth has been reborn. The books, the pages, all undone of that of not of God. Bring now to me what is rightfully mine, and the rest shall be let go. For this is now the beginning of a new time, the dawn of a new era. This world is now mine. And as I, you guys, I channeled that. And as I said that, God just handed me a necklace with a key. What is this? It's, um, ha, ha, ha. When I say the earth is mine, that's the like, know. It's true. You just had to put it on. So I said, you're taking my breath away. Look. What did I say? I don't even know what's happening. Okay. Um uh. Uh, I'm seeing a map now. It's like this map in front of me and the earth has changed. So where things are now is going to drastically change in the few years to come. Uh, uh, I see some more land rising. I literally see, it's like I'm talking to this map and I'm telling land to rise over here. And I'm shifting things over here. And I'm pushing things down over here. And then I'm like lighting people up. One over here, there's one over here, there's one over there. I need to wake them. Boom. Dinka. Bye. Like yanta yanta kanta u u inta. I um, am trying to process what's happening. I don't understand all of this right now. I just move things on the earth. I shrunk mountains. I changed water. I moved things. It just was coming. I didn't even think it through. I was like moving pieces of this map, this 3D blueprint of the earth. It's more than a map also. And somebody once asked me about the light language that I speak compared to tongues. You guys don't understand as I return the language of God, this is the language of God. It's beyond light language, okay? This is not just some simple light language. I literally speak God's language. 
the creation of it, I guess, is mine. I, I don't know what all this means. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to understand it all right now. It's very overwhelming, to be honest. So I'm, I our benches be. are lowering. Your benches are lowering after I did that. I don't know uh, exactly what all that was, but the benches are lowering. It's like we're coming back to earth. And then I am sitting on mine, but it looks more like a throne. And I'm wearing this big, massive crown, and I'm still glowing white. And it's like this pure white dress. <clears throat> now I'm going to take your energetic cords, and I'm bringing them all the way down to the core of the earth. I'm bringing them all the way down to the core of the earth. They you. And I'm rebirthing a star in the sky. Um, something about a star is born. I'm rebirthing a star in the sky. I gotta slow down. My voice is being stopped for a reason. So I have that key. I have the key in my, it's like on my neck, but I'm like walking. So you guys are on your benches. I just took my key. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what all this is. This is blowing my mind. And I'm like walking. Um, It's kind of slightly underground. And I'm putting it in like this, like this cave, like this door. And I'm opening it. Remember, God gave me this key. And I heard all the riches in tow. Uh, true riches are born. It's that's kind of what I'm. It's like this beautiful cavern, and I'm I'm just entering it within, and everything is glowing white. And it was mine. It was mine at one time. Uh, right riches are returned. Like what is rightfully mine has been returned. What is white rightfully mine is now mine again. Is kind of the feeling that I'm, I don't understand all of this. So please forgive me. Mm. And as I'm walking in, it just got like really big. It's like the true earth. Um, uh, it kind of reminded me of looking like Atlantis. I remember that. So I'm still processing this because this happened last night. When I was doing the map, I was literally shifting the blueprint of the earth. I was moving the blueprint of the earth. The map of the earth is shifting. I started doing that when I cut off California from life support, when I cleared Mount Shasta, I told you guys, I literally cut it off from life support. So if you go there thinking you're healing spiritually at Mount Shasta, first of all, you were never connecting to light at all. Now there's no energy there at all. So those that can't see that are anchored into the shadow. Okay. Because we've cut them all off from God's light. So I'm going to skip forward here now to, it says 3755. Do, do, theory do, do. and i'm walking it out to it's time to make everything right and then i see the figure eight like all over the earth the figure eight just shroom 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 with gold light it's the most it's like the light that came through the pillars it's like this yellowish gold beautiful light white light hue it's it's oh it's an earth healing i'm healing the we're we're healing the earth we're being um given back our belongings and i'm healing the earth and it's like this fake image has been undone and all trueness is now unearthed and not only is it unearthing it's rising to the surface for truth has been reborn it's uh prelude to the one and then they're like looking at me um they're still saying i still do not understand fully the brevity of what i've done and i've heard this before this so if i don't understand fully the brevity of what i've done and i see it i feel it i've almost died three times doing it being attacked by fallen angels i've lost my dm i know i've activated the pyramids if i can't still fully process it because our minds are limited 
believe now that you can't as well. Okay. So take in what you can take in. It's a processing experiment. Like it, it takes a long time to process it all. You have to sit with it all, but most people allow their shadow to stop them, which if you come to the one, the, they call me the one, they call me the queen of life. I'm not a chosen one. That's you guys. If you come to the one that did all of this and you let your shadow stop you, what do you think that does? If you judge it, if you throw negativity towards it, what do you think that does to you? So you have to be very careful with this. Just please just simply sit with it, absorb it, watch the videos, watch the videos, take the path home. I have the path to righteousness. If you think money should stop you in the third dimensional reality, that kind of money is not going forward. It has to be purified through God either way, because I also threw money through the portal. Okay, if you notice, they've, they've manipulated everything. The triangle with the eye was manipulated. It was over Mount Shasta. It was over darkness, the fallen angels, which I burned in Mount Shasta part two. So you really got to be paying attention to what I've done. I burned Archangel Samael in Mount Shasta part two. This stuff is not a joke. Okay, I undid the unholy grail. It was a contract written in Jesus's blood. I set Israel free. I set the whole entire earth free. I cleared Salem, for God's sakes. That was a minute aspect of what I've done. We cleared Catholicism. There is no religion. That's what spirit calls it. God is everything and everyone. There's no division from the one. Okay, so don't bring negativity. Just give it time to absorb because even I don't fully understand so how can you? I don't make this up. I channel these things. I never know they're coming. I say that repeatedly. You can watch them all and see that. Okay. This is like deja vu. Oh. I've been here before. They said this before. Okay. And now what we all will be entering a specific pyramid, but all different from the other. We are all going to enter a specific pyramid. So that is where I take them into the, their own pyramids that I've activated. And I send light codes up through the people in the workshop because each time I do this with them, you get healing on a whole nother level. But I'm going to skip to 4055. Here is where it says to go. So we will we will just try here. That's my thing going on. Oh, yeah. I mentioned what pyramids I was at. So let me. I think that's important. Okay, so I'm like walking into Machu Picchu and then I have Myanmar and then I have Lake Titicaca. I built a pyramid in Lake Titicaca. That's my thing going on. That's where I died in Atlanta. Uh, my white flame was snuffed out. And I'm that was... standing in the middle and I'm still glowing white light and I have a scroll to read. So as we are all in the pyramids, I'm going to read a scroll. I have no idea what's happening. I feel so out of the loop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Usually they give me a little uh, insight. They were not. So we're going to go to 44. But I have two other pyramids energy affecting. And now the pyramid you're in is like shifting. Oh, yeah. I turn them a quarter turn as well. Oh, I'm acclimated with the pyramid. You came activated within the pyramid. Okay. Like different light code transmissions just went through you. Um, I did something to you with the pyramid light. That's the best I can describe it. So as I read the scroll, I saw all of these shifting energies. I saw light codes. I saw the pyramids moving and lights just shooting through you. It's not normal. I remember those lights are carrying up to the dome of the earth as well. It's like this continual foom, foom up to the sky. Everything I do so is you, essential. Uh, uh, <laughs> And I keep hearing a new star is born. A new star is born. Like I. 45, 40. And I got to go too. So as I was breathing, I can see myself standing by the Sphinx. And all of a sudden I'm by the Sphinx and I'm blowing sand. like this massive wind just picked up and took all the sand and the stuff away like I you know how they have like architectures like uh, archaeologist sites like I just blew it all like I'm like 
And all this stuff just went boom and unearthed something. And then the Sphinx is shaking. It's like shaking. I activated Holy the Sphinx. Shit. For those of you and who I don't see- know me, I activated the Sphinx a couple of years ago, like maybe in 2020. Um, and it is actually the portal of time. You guys call it the Sphinx, but the true name of it is the return of Horus. And who I am and the lifetimes that I am, that I've cleared is Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene and Sekhmet and Horus. Those are all my lifetimes, me and my twin flame. It's the same soul. There is no separation. I don't know why they separate it. And there should never be a separation from Jesus and Mary Magdalene. There should never be a separation from the masculine and feminine. That's the yin and the yang. Okay. So for those who don't understand, there's a lot of layers to what I've done. Okay. I didn't just get here today. It took me since 2019 of doing work and clearing all darkness from the earth. Um, But the Sphinx is the portal of time. There's a black hole down in the center of it. And that video is actually on my Ascension playlist on this channel. And you can watch that one as well. It's very relevant to removal of darkness and to the return of forests, which is my twin flame. My DM walking out of the Sphinx. He's walking out of the Sphinx towards me. You can't compare me to others. I'm and not then it's I them. hear I like saw him go like this and he said reclaiming of the land. He like waved his arm and he said reclaiming of the land. I feel like I'm back in the time of like Sekhmet and Horus. That's what it feels like. It's what it's, you know, but even more than that. It's like back to the beginning of time. Yep. So you guys don't realize is this is the great reset. When I activated the Sphinx around that time frame and I undid the false concept of time, I talked about that. I took us back to the beginning of time. It's a great reset. All of your past lives will no longer matter. They won't either way. Um, if you stay here, you're reborn here into the pureness of your soul. You're completely in your power. You're completely reborn because of all the healing that I put you through. If you go somewhere else, you're still erased. You have to start all over. Okay. Um, there are some that will be in between, right, where they don't stay here, but they don't go to that somewhere else, and they still have a chance to kind of heal. It's just going to take some time. Um, but those that get to stay here are in the new earth. They're in heaven. Okay, making sense so far? All right. And like all this sand is just kicked up and blowing. You guys are like still in the energy of the pyramids, whether you're on your bench or not, you're in the energy of the pyramids. That's where I see you is still with that. And my, it's like I'm all this sand is like blowing all around, like foom, foom, foom. And the sky is like so dark, but I could see everything. Uh, like, like the biggest storm you've ever seen. Hmm. This only goes to 57 or so, so it's almost over. Just keep watching. And the Sphinx, uh, the eyes are glowing. It's been acted like um, completely activated now. I'm com- completely activating it now. It's like the eyes are glowing. It's just filled with light after my DM came out and all this wind is blowing. And all of a sudden I just see it like crumbling, trembling, not crumbling, but like brrr, and all this light just going in and the eyes are like shoo, like shooting out light. Um, th- do you guys remember back when I did it, I knocked something off of her head? It's like they did something to it that wasn't right in that area. This is reminding me of that. It's like, but different. This is like relevant from that. Like I just drew up all this light into the Sphinx and the head of it is like, grow. it's like glowing. The eyes are glowing. Uh, And then I hear this land is your land, this land is my land, this land was made for you and me. And I'm like looking at my DM. It is my earth. Made for you and me. 
They're going to show you that more and more. They show and me. And then that. I like take his hand. The true meaning of the Sphinx is Horus returns. And this makes a lot more sense than you guys know. I'm like holding his hand. So uh, this is what happened to your earth. They separated Adam and Eve, but they blamed it on Eve, remember? So there was a lot of against the masculine and feminine energies. In truth, Adam actually chose a false goddess and killed Eve. And I was the one who died. I saw myself die and these kids drowned with me and my light, my white flame went out. That is when I rose Atlantis back in 2019, 2020 is when I saw that. Um, so Adam and Eve were separated. Jesus and Mary Magdalene were separated and Sekhmet and Horus were separated. Okay. And they got one to turn against the other usually is how they would do it in some way, shape or form. Um, Sekhmet and Horus was my lifetime. They told me that when I activated Ecuador and then I cleared the Nile shortly after that. And I didn't know that was coming. Horus was killed by Toth. And that is when the moon was manipulated and shifted. Back in 2020, I started undoing all the false energies of the moon. They had a satellite there that actually fell from the earth when I did it in Oregon. You can watch that video and that's proven. Um, and so much. And there's a lot more, though, in the path to righteousness. So there's a lot here you guys don't understand. Hopefully you're getting to understand it because it's a necessity. If you found me, there's a reason. Maybe you're supposed to be on the path home. Okay. Okay, and now um, the earth, we're going to turn a quarter turn to the right. I don't know what's going on here. I need to turn her a half a quarter turn to the right. So I've done that several times. I've also activated poles. I'm not normal. I'm not like anybody else you're going to see. So don't compare me to them because that will cut that light off. Because who I am is, is really hard to understand in your head space, Okay. Do I actually move the earth? Yes, I do. And it plays out in your real reality. The last video I did, I told you this. I shifted the, the compass. I told you I moved the tectonic plates. And in real time, that, that's what happened to Iceland. Okay, so if you're watching what I'm doing, it's playing out in real time for you. Okay, you just you just have to watch. You have to pay attention. You have to look. You have to see. You have to be open and not let your shadow stop you. So it's like I have this staff and all of a sudden I'm like stabbing the earth. And I'm going to rotate her a quarter turn to the right on the compass, on the directional line, on the poles. Just a quarter turn to the right. Like every pole is shifting. And I hear more crack. crack. As crack. I it's like the earth. Like, crack. Does that make sense? It like cracks. Crack. Yeah. yeah. And then another round of light goes through all of you guys. Boom. These are activations. These are light codes. It's like, doo, doo, doo. I see these, like that language I was speaking. It's like light language is doo, 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 going up all of you. It only goes to five, 57, and that's when Camilla and uh, King Charles. And I keep hearing that song, this land is my land, this land is your land, and then Come this in. land was made for you and me. And then I see a uh, sand fall, like a waterfall. It was sand at first, and then it goes to water. That is so weird. It's like sand. It's like a waterfall of sand. It's like all the sand just starts falling. And then from there, it went to water. And then Zeus is all the gods are stepping forward. All the gods are stepping forward. They're walking out of Fiji. They're like literally walking out of the water. Also, if you've never watched my videos, Fiji is where I opened up the God portal. When I cut off Mount Shasta, I cleared the root chakra, returned it back to Fiji because that is the earth's true root chakra. It always should have been. The fallen angel Samael is the one who messed with it the first time. And what they do is they get all of you to go against God through your shadow. Okay. So I opened up the God's portal that is at Fiji. There's a pyramid underwater there that I activated as well. You can watch that. Only part one can you watch. Part two is only available on the path to righteousness. They're, they're walking out of the water. Zeus, Prometheus. Um, uh, so it's like one after the other. The Norse gods, every god is walking out of the water. If you watch the last video I posted, I talk about the North, East, South, and West and healed it all the way back. 
and there should be like i don't i don't know if it's apostles or angels standing there the gods are standing there instead that way we're not shorthanded because a lot of people unfortunately let their shadow get in the way along this journey we should have had a lot more apostles is what god calls them and those are the people who went through with me as i was bringing it about but they went into judgment when my and first time did what he did they're like standing now at certain aspects of the earth how do i put this they're standing at certain locations of this. so they're all coming out like of the portal of the gods and they're walking to a specific location on the earth it's like a post it's where they need to be that's what i'm hearing it's where they need to be for the shift this preparation is quite large there it's more than i even understand still they're where they need to be that's the best thing i can tell you um like a guard but also in preparation to help with the light they're here to help everything be right. And also the ones that did the path, I take you to Sequoia. And in the final one at the gates, I ascended the angels too. The angels got ascended when when I when I opened the gates and did all that because they're already, they're already, you know, of God. Um, but I even ascended them. So who I am is more than you can fathom, most likely. Let's just watch. This is almost done um so we will not go without there will be not any lack everything will be fine all of the gods are lining up where they need to be it's like one every every so you know how you have your northeast south and west like a north and then there's a couple in between east there's a few in between south there's a few in between so there's that's there's gods all over the planet they're literally standing all over this is all the work that i've done and prepped for and I just keep hearing this land is our land, this land is my land, this land is made for you and me. Like really it has to be that song, but that's what I keep hearing. Um, and then my eyes are glowing again and I look like I'm an, e like I'm an Egyptian. That's how I look like a um, goddess, right? Like they said, no, like God. And my eyes are glowing and my crown is like this most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I'm holding this key on this necklace. And the key actually at the top looks like an unk. So it's got a shape of an unk. It's a key though, but it's an unk. It's a key. Does that make sense? So it's God an unk, but it's a key. It's and I'm holding it. God gave me. And I'm standing at the gates. And there's one more round of light going to go up into the pyramids where you guys are and activate you even more. And oddly enough, I'm on one side of the gates and my DM is on the other. We are the guard of the gates. Period. Period. They're saying don't doubt that. Did you hear that? So I have questioned before because I can feel that in your guys' energy to question if I hold the keys or not. I do your heart review. I make sure your karma is cleared. And then I get to purify you if it is and walk you through the gates. This is not a given for everybody. It is a rite of passage. It is a choice to heal completely, to call all your power back, to activate and evolve into the best version, your full version in the eyes of God. And to become part of the new earth. It is not given to everybody. That is why they had me put together all the work that I did. I didn't do that on my own. God said, put it all together now and look at it. And it literally is the path home. Okay. I hold the keys and this, they're telling me again, not to doubt that. So I've come into doubt with that because I feel everybody else is doubt with that. If you think you can do it on your own, this is not your earth. This is God's earth. It's mine. It's I've changed the earth. That's what I keep telling you guys. I don't do these for people. I'm changing the earth. But that's not uh, this key is different. It's like a key to everything. Uh, I don't know. Yes. This land is made for you and me. So I keep hearing. 
and like all this light is just going over the gate and I still see the figure eight all over the earth. It's like boom, 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 boom. And the Sphinx is active. If I really put this all together, this is kind of making sense. For all the work that I did. Yes. It sums but up it's all still outside work. of my mental reach. Like I can't fully process it all yet. Okay, and then this this onk key. Now I have like this onk lit up in my chest. It just like went foom and it's lit up in my chest. It's weird. Um, it's almost like it would like be like this very large tattoo. Also, when I cleared the Nile, they told me I'm the eye of Ra and my DM is the eye of Horus in your brain. That's why I activated both recently because the DM was not with me yet. I don't know if I'll be bringing the white light in on my own. I don't know. I know I got his key, but I, I don't know. I just, you know, I've been so used to a lot of pain with that. Um, it just is what it is. If I have to do it by my own, I'm sure they'll find a way. But it's in the shape of an onk and it's glowing. I hope he comes. And my DM has one too. So he's stand, sitting next to the gates. It's like I'm on one side, he's on the other. And now he has an onk glowing on his chest as well. Right, really quick, they also want me to state that what what brought the whole ascension about was because I chose love. I chose love the whole entire way with my DM, my original one, while he was attacking me through the fallen angels, while he took off with the fallen angels, and I spent a year fighting for my life and his soul. This is very true. That's why my arm was shattered. Um, my body took a hit. It killed everything in my body. Like, I, I literally took a hit, okay? I was very, very um viable and thin and beautiful and this whole journey took a toll on my physical body as well but the whole time I kept choosing love because that's and that's what you guys also have to do you have to heal through love okay you have to choose love and heal the whole way I chose love and I still do I just wish I felt that more from the DM but I choose love to this day I always will. And we have to. That is God. That is what I chose. Love. Me and my DM. And that's what helped me survive it all. And bring it all about. They wanted me to say that. And now I have a book. I don't know. It's like this very large book was just handed to me. And the same book was handed to my DM. I don't know what that means. Very large. Very large. It looks ancient ancient texts this ancient knowledge all of the ancient knowledge was just put in my lap and in my dm's lap we hold the knowledge what i don't fully understand this that makes sense we do hold the knowledge i have all the knowledge hold one more round of light and yet people let their shadow stop them from hearing everything that i say and that's why i tell you every video i do is very very important for the ascension to pick and choose what you hear is you could be missing something very important. I'm going to shoot up into you guys. And when that is done, you will be back on your bench. So at 57, 23. quickly have to remove you out of those pyramids and put you on your bench to reground. Is where the British kingdom comes in. So we will just listen past that. Oh, before we watch this end part, because this is at the end of what I'm going to show you, when I did the animal clearings, I put the animals through all the portals, um, and some of those were kicked back. I said in that one that the ones who actually created um, the vid, the, the the COVID, right? The ones who created that are our government and that of British Columbia, the UK, the United Kingdom. So it had nothing to do with China. They're just blaming it on China, probably because we owe them a lot of money. So you guys have to realize this, okay, is it was us that created it and British Columbia, the uh, not British Columbia, sorry, the United Kingdom, um, the, the king, okay, and queen and that whole energy. And when he was reigned, remember the black cloak guy that was in the video? Some of you might remember that when he became king, there was a weird, strange black cloak guy. Well, when I did the Kilimanjaro activation of the pyramids in Colombia, um, Kilimanjaro in the Congo, I went under the White House and there were these beings with black cloaks. So if you put it all together, 
they were one, okay? The United States of America and the United Kingdom are actually in cahoots. It's just their goal to always divide, okay? But those black cloak characters, I ripped souls out of some of them and I did things like that and I blew up the White House. This is why it's important to watch every video I have. Those are also on this channel. Those were pyramid activations. The Kilimanjaro one I blew up three times. It was dormant, it's no longer dormant. It will eventually erupt. And um, that is when I undid the White House. Now I completely undid the White House. It can never rebuild. Okay, this is not about a new presidency. This is about God returned, right? This land is made for you and me, God, Adam and Eve. And then what I'm seeing is I'm like on this throne here. My DM is on the throne. And then next to me, you guys are sitting on your benches. That's how it was going to be in a moment. You will be all sitting along the side of me on your benches. We're at the gates of heaven when I keep talking about this. That's what I see when I'm channeling this. And then um, from my DM is like Malachi, the angels. And then beyond you guys is the angels. This is so weird. Um, and then oddly enough, I just saw like the British kingdom. Um, uh, what's his name? Skin just fell off. And he's like a lizard person. Um, what is this uh, the king uh, I know Biden's did but what's his name the new king just like became something else it was gross it was kind of gross yeah I remember seeing it and then C Camilla like his wife or somebody also like, ugh so all these exposures, um, but on another level. Now, each one of you are being handed an assignment. I don't know what this is. Um, Sam? So that is what I was shown. It was at the gates with my DM and I. We are actually waiting for people to make their way through. You can only walk the path home now. That is the only path there is to walk. Um, however, if you're not healed enough, it kicks back, right? And and what doesn't align has to go now. What does not align has to go. We cannot stand with our feet on one side and the other any longer. You either fully heal, you fully do the things that I've told you we have to do, or it doesn't align with God. That's what it's about. It's not about judgment. It's about karma. Okay, you reap what you sow because this is the return of God. And so if they got you to do anything outside of that, and you never know what it is, okay? It stems from all kinds of things. So you just have to be mindful. But the ones who created the V, the whole virus itself, and the needle thingy that they poke you with, it was all created by the same people. Um, the people of our, our unite, supposedly United States, and then the people of uh, the British Kingdom, okay? It had nothing to do with China. I can't reiterate that enough. And they're, they're the ones that I've seen as, as what you guys would call lizard people. They're literally, their skin falls off, Biden, King Charles, and Camilla. And they become, they look, dis it's disgusting. I don't even like seeing it, but I do. Now, I encourage you to watch all my videos, you guys, because there's so much going on. And this is the full circle moments to all the work that I have been doing since 2019. Yes, I spent every day of my life. I had a psychology degree. My life was completely one way. And then all of a sudden, I had an awakening that I didn't plan on having, didn't see coming, and my whole life changed. I was not doing spiritual work prior to that. I was literally working in the psycho psychological field, taking care of my kids on my own. Um, and then from there, it went to bringing about the return of Christ and learning who I was every step of the way and painfully being fought every step of the way and how I survived. I still don't know because some of those attacks were quite, quite painful. Um, very painful. My arm was destroyed. I couldn't have surgery, couldn't do anything like pain meds, nothing. They had to squeeze my bones back into place because at that time 
My original twin flame was still alive and it was part of the attack on me. It was a very hard push to get me to not allow the ascension to come through. So you guys don't realize is I almost didn't make it. We almost did not make it. Okay. But I did. I survived. I pulled through on my own. I got a walk in twin flame because of all of that. And so there's more here going on than you understand. Okay. It has taken me a lot of work. It took my light to do it. I used my light to activate pyramids, to rotate them, to rebuild the crystalline grid, to replace all darkness of this planet. And it hurt my vessel. <laughs> I am still healing. I'm in recovery, as you could call it. Um, so I would just hope that people take what I say seriously, because it's not normal. And I would hope that you would watch everything that I say from beginning to end, because it's quite layered. When God speaks, it's very layered. Okay. It's not simple. It takes a lot to process, you know, so, you know, it is a rite of passage. I have the path home. When you take that path, it is your guaranteed path home. You just have to choose through free will every time, love and love only. Okay. So even though I provide you with your path home, which I do, there's somebody about to be walked through the gates that's on it right now. And we did a video with her recently. It's very real. It's life changing. It's not easy. You have your own challenges to overcome. You have to be in your own power the whole way. You call back your power. Like it's 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 a lot, um, and it is a rite of passage. And that even this video even expresses that more. How I I hold the key to everything. Okay, and my DM should too. He should be right beside me. And every day I pray that eventually he will be. Um, but you know, because I shouldn't have done this alone and I don't want to do it alone, but, um, the event, anything outside of that light. So you have time to make it through the gates, a little bit of time left, not much. And then anything outside of the light, that's the event. It, it will burn because it doesn't match the frequency of God. That's why they depict hell is burning. And they've showed me this several times when I did Kilimanjaro, when I've done the last, when I rebirthed the earth and processed her death, um, that video I showed you guys too, I uploaded that recently. And towards the end of that one, all of everything that doesn't align will burn. I take her through the gates. So the earth has already been reborn. She's already been put through the gates. And now you have no choice but to be pushed that way. And if you don't make it, you know, some may not. And that's, is what it is. It's all through free will. Okay. Fear is not of God and time. It's really hard to put your finger on because it was false. Everything is in the now. Okay. Everything is occurring right now. And so that's what you have to focus on and only right now. Okay. Watch these videos because number one, it's amazing. It's amazing to see these things and you may never get a chance to see them again, or this will never happen again. Okay. The Ascension truly does play out on this channel and it will never happen again. It's all been done. I have reset time and there will never be a reason for it to come again. We are now in the golden era. For those that get to make it, there will be no suffering, no division. It's a total different ball game. Okay. It's the return of God. So much love to all of you. I hope you have a very beautiful day. If you want the path home, it's still available. Just click the link below this video. Otherwise, I'll see you all on the flip side. Hasta mañana.